Oh, nice pickin'. Nice pickin' indeed. Mix and match is just coming up, champ. Hold tight. We're in India today with a terrific mix and match for you to play. So jump off your elephant and let's go. Hit the go button. Go! See the word below me? It's Hindi. That's one of the main languages here in India. And it's a word for something in the picture. Can you drag the word to the thing it describes? Chumgada. Who catches flies by sending out little sounds at night? Hati. Hello, long nose. Bunda. <laughs> Tota. Who's a pretty boy then? Ah! Only a few left. Lal ten. What you need instead of a flashlight. Only two left. That's nearly all of them. Guy. Where the milk comes from. One left. Good matching, Skipper. Magur, a big green reptile. <laughs> Good job. You got them all. Excellent. Want to add some curry to this and spice it up? If you click on the kid, we'll make it harder. Or click on the stopwatch to play Beat the Clock. Hit that go button. Want to head out? See you soon! Thanks to Chester for that Hindi word game fun. Where to go now? Oh, bless you, darling. You chose me. Oh, I'm very touched. <coughs> darling, you just sit tight while I get my things together for this. Hmm? Hey, darling. I've forged a trail through the tallest jungle grass to discover some amazing facts on exotic India. So start up that fib detector, and let's get ready to play Velma's Fact or Fib. Now, a fact is a fact unless it's a fib. And I've planted a couple of tall tails in here, so y'all keep your eyes peeled. Now here we go. Click on any one of my India facts, and we'll get started. Did you know that in India, cows are allowed to roam anywhere they please? Even in crowded cities, cows can sit right down in the middle of the street, and cars and taxis and bicycles will wait patiently for the cows to move rather than disturb them. Now, does that sound like a fib, or is that a fact? <laughs> My goodness, you are a real India expert. That is 100% correct. Yes, indeed. Cows do roam free. You see, the way the Indians see it, children have always needed milk to grow strong and healthy. And since cows give milk, they've become a symbol for everything good and gentle in the universe. Pick a fact and we'll get going. This fella, he's a snake charmer, and he's actually able to tame poisonous king cobras. You see, the cobra listens with his extra sensitive ears to the beautiful music the charmer plays and falls into a trance. Your call, Lamb Chop. Does that sound like a fact or a big old fib? Oh, nothing gets by you, does it? No, you are right. Although there really are snake charmers, and they really do play flutes, the snakes can't hear the sounds because they don't have ears. <laughs> what the snakes are actually responding to are the charmers' movements. Click on any picture, and off we go. Hey, darling, let's grab the next elephant out of here, okay? It's time to mosey off with the others. My brain is well sizzled. Is yours? <laughs> and now, what shall we do, huh? To Japan! 
Japan. <laughs> Here we are in Japan, the place where the mightiest samurai lives in a house with paper walls. Japan, land of the rising fib. Or is it? Well, y'all come on with me and find out. Well, I'll be a chicken fried pig. You chose me. <coughs> Darling, you just sit tight while I get my things together for this. Hey, you sugar pie. The fantastic island nation of Japan is our next port of call. So let's flex those fib-finding fingers and play... Velma's Fact or Fib. Be sure to keep your eyes and ears peeled, cause old Velma's planted a fib or two in all those juicy Japanese facts. Click on any one and we'll get moving. The Japanese people eat lots of interesting foods. But there is one traditional delicacy that is very dangerous. It's a type of sushi called puffer fish or fugu. Puffer fish are poisonous, and if you eat the wrong part of them, it could kill you. Fact or fib, darling, now you tell me. <laughs> Holy Toledo, that is right. Yes, you are right. The Japanese do eat puffer fish. But fugu is best prepared by expert chefs who are specially trained to separate the poisonous parts from the good stuff. So you have to be careful. Click on any picture and we'll get this show on the road. This fella here, he's a Japanese sumo wrestler. Now, sumo wrestlers have a special diet, and they have to eat lots and lots of meals a day. And to make sure that they eat enough food, their trainers rub the wrestlers' tummies so they can eat more. Now, what do you think, Lamb Chop? Is that a fact, or is that a fib? Oh, my, my, you got that exactly right. Yes, sumo wrestlers eat a special high-protein diet and they can weigh up to 380 pounds. They need to be heavy, too, since the idea of sumo wrestling is to try to push your opponent out of the ring. Go on and pick a fact. Oh, my sweet angel, oh, my. I am just a flutter after all those facts. Why, you could use me as a Japanese fan. <laughs> but hey, sugar, I say we should go and find the rest of the gang now. Velma. I can safely say that that was fib-tabulous. <laughs> what activity shall we try now, my friend? Mexico, ho! Ho, 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 Mexico, a whole world to discover in one beautiful country. Welcome, my friend, to Mexico. The colors in Mexico really put my camera to the test. Can I show you? Hey, you picked the world-famous photographer, Monkey Sue. Hang on, please. We're just getting ready. Hmm? It's a good thing I had color film in my camera. Mexico is so colorful. These are the colors of Mexico. Wanna go? Okay, that okay. monkey shoe has an eye for a colorful picture and an ear for a colorful tune. What shall we do now? Okay, let's go. Hey, <laughs> wait a sec. We'll be playing in no time. Hmm? Whoa, hey, guess what? <laughs> it's Marta's fifth birthday, <laughs> and we get to throw her a traditional Mexican birthday party <laughs> with a piñata. <laughs> oh, that is the uh, straw thingamabob hanging from the ceiling? Yeah. <laughs> First, we'll stuff it with all kinds of special things, and then we play a game where we try to break it open by hitting it with a stick. No kidding. Ha, 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 ha. 
So click on my belly and we'll get going. Oh, a present. <laughs> Will you give it to Mara to open it? Toy truck. A whistle. Beep. <laughs> For blowing and putting in the piñata. A present. <laughs> Let's put it in the pinata. Hey, look, that got fat. <laughs> Want to get the stuff out? Come on, one of the kids can help. Come on, hit it again. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what a party. Bye-bye, <laughs> Maida. Feliz cumpleaños. <laughs> Happy birthday. Little Bungie has a belly full of amazing things. <laughs> now what shall we do? Off to Norway! <laughs> Aha! Beautiful Norway and its myriad waterways, fjords, Norway's lovely lakes, and the cold, cold North Sea. Brrr. I bet you'd like a little skiing. Pick me and we're off to the snow. Yep. Hey, wait up! It's tricky hopping in the snow. <laughs> hey, <laughs> wait a sec. We'll be playing in no time. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we are up in the snowy mountains of Norway, and we get to play winter sports. Yeah, <laughs> and look, there's a lake and a ski jump, too. Yeah, cool. <laughs> you're going to meet the local boys and girls, and uh, <laughs> you're not going to believe it till you see them. Trolls! Yeah, honest. <laughs> now, trolls are like uh, weird, fantastical folks that live in Norway. Yep. <laughs> I'll click on my belly to meet everyone and get some snow stuff to play with. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here's Lars. <laughs> he looks ready for a snowball fight. Yeah. Hey! Ho-ho! <laughs> a sled! <laughs> Who wants a ride? Maybe, uh, the reindeer can pull. Oh, wanna see a reindeer pull the sled? <laughs> she can, you know. Hey, skates! For skating on the lake. Oh, this is Astrid. <laughs> she likes to dance. Yeah. All ready for skating on the lake. How about taking a troll sledding? <laughs> oh, kicking troll. Watch out. <laughs> Ooh, huh, oh, what a sight. Rolf, <laughs> betcha he'd like to go fishing. Yep. <laughs> Skis, <laughs> want to get someone to ski down the hill? <laughs> They'll need these. Yep. All ready to ski down the hill? Hey, a dancing troll. <laughs> he can dance, but can he ski? <laughs> 
Wanna roll a troll down the hill? Ha <laughs> go on. <laughs> it's fun. Woo! <laughs> it's even more fun with skis. Yeah. I'm beat. Yep. Uh, let's find the others. Hey, where'd they go? I love those poke and prods. Ingenious! What now, though? Away to Peru! <coughs> Peru, Peru, Peru. Mountains, temples, and some spectacular llamas. Peruvian pictures are right this way. Good choice, buddy. Mix and match is just coming up, champ. Hold tight. Mm. Hey, Skipper, let's get our ears cleaned out and we'll be ready to play a musical round of mix and match. Which Peruvian instrument makes which sound? Let's find out. Just press go and we're ready to start. Go! Okay, maestro. I'm going to play you a little bit of each instrument. There's a little musical note in the box below me. It'll play a note for you. You drag the note to the person you think makes that sound. But hey, if you click on a musician first, you can hear their sound and match it like that. See that below me? Just drag it over to where it belongs. Ocarina. Bumbo. Flyertista. Antara. Charango. Kina. Tambourine. Hey, hey, you're 100% correct. I'm going to lean on you more often. Ready to go again? If you click on the kid, we'll make it harder. And click the stopwatch to play Beat the Clock. Press go to start up the music mix. What a gig, champ. Nice work. Where'd the others go? That was quite a fanfare, Chester. <laughs> now where should we go? Oh, honey blossom, I'm very flattered. Thank you. <coughs> darling, you just sit tight while I get my things together for this. Hmm? Watch out, darling. We're about to enter the mist-filled mountains of Peru. So throw on that fib protector and let's play... Velma's Fact or Fib. You can start anywhere, honey bunch. Just remember, I've planted a fib or two among all these facts, so you be on the lookout. Click on any picture and we'll get this show on the road. Peru is home to the Andes Mountains, the second highest mountain range in the world. And mountains this high are prone to a very serious illness called mountain sickness. Oh, look at this poor fella. Oh, my. Now, what do you think, darling? Is that a fact or a fib? Oh, correct, sweetie. That is a big old fib, a mountain-sized fib. Yes, indeed. Mountains don't get mountain sickness, but sometimes people do. You see, when people from the lowlands climb up high in the Andes, it gets real difficult to breathe because there's not a lot of oxygen high up in the mountains. And without enough air to breathe, people can feel sick or dizzy or real sleepy. And if you stay up there for two months or so, your body will eventually adjust and the sickness will just go away. 
Click on any picture and we'll get this show on the road. Hey, here we're looking at Lake Titicaca. Located up in the Andes Mountains, it's the highest lake in the whole world. Did you know that some Indians actually live on islands they made out of nothing but reeds? Now what's your verdict, Cupcake? Is that a fact or a big ol' fib? <laughs> You're darn tootin' it's a fact. Nice work. The Indians really do build islands to live on using reeds that grow along the lake. They pile them up on the lake floor making small but stable islands. And not only that, they also build houses out of the very same reeds. While they even weave the reeds together to make their fishing boats. There ain't nothing a reed can't do up there. Click on any picture and off we go. Oh my goodness, oh sweet darling. Those facts and these mountains have left me quite dizzy. So let's drop on down and find the gang before I faint. You are a mine of information, Velma. But where should we dig now? Russia, ready or not, here we come! <laughs> Russia, look out! The Gigglebone Gang's arrived! <laughs> Choose me to meet a very special falcon. We're off! Great! Hang on, please. We're just getting ready. Hmm? Hold tight! We're gonna meet a real live falcon! Falcon! Sasha is a soldier, he works at the Kremlin, he guards all the cannons, and he helps the tourists. Sasha has a falcon, a pretty bird named Tuchka, she lives there in Red Square. Every day she goes out and then Tuchka flies, flies so high through the city every day. Past the market to the park, flying where the children play. When she soars down the street, past the church's golden domes, there's the Kremlin, there is Wanna go? What an incredible bird! How shall we follow that? Can you choose? Let's consult the map. That's the clever way to travel. Well, well, well. You have the world at your fingertips. Where shall we visit? This grid shows all of our world tour activities. A star indicates where we've been already today. You can choose any one of the activities here. Click on it to go straight there. Aha! Back again! <laughs> now well too, my friend. Do you want to be leaving, my friend? Just choose the red quit sign once again. No, honey, are you sure we can't tempt you to play just a little more? Go on, just click anywhere else and you can keep on playing. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs>